All right, let's talk about politics. It is the counting of ballots for the primary election, which is now underway. In Benton County, three were just under 35,000 ballots received by the end of Monday night. Among those, about 1,200 are being challenged, most of them because the voters did not choose a party or their signatures did not match the signature on file. We spoke with the Benton County elections manager about that today. So people that didn't pick up party, they've been sent letters um, in an effort to cure those. Um, people have until the 21st at the end of the day to get those back for their ballot to be counted, but we have quite a bit that have been um, sent letters for not picking a party for this election. It's just for this election. It doesn't determine how they vote in the general. It's just for this, um, essentially a party primary. Hatfield says that they have about a 32% return in this primary. Um, in 2020, we got 43% back, so it's a little lower than what we had in 2020. Now, in Franklin County, the voter turnout has been about 22.5%. They will be dropping their final numbers this evening. But let's take a look at where the numbers are so far. Let's start in Benton County. Take a look at your screen. The Democrats voted 85% for Biden, about 5% for Dean Phillips, and 3.5% for Marianne Williamson. About 5% voted uncommitted. The Republican Party voters picked up about 77% of the vote with Trump. Nikki Haley got 19%, and other candidates won about 4.5% of the Republican votes. All right. Let's go to Franklin County. Trump garnered about 82% of the vote, with Nikki Haley earning 15%. The other candidates combined got about 3.6%. The Democrats picked Biden at almost 86% of the vote. Dean Phillips got 4.4%, Marianne Williamson 4.2%. There were also 5.5% who voted uncommitted, and statewide, the numbers look like this. Biden with 86%, Phillips with 3 and Williamson with 2.7%. Statewide, almost 7.5% voted uncommitted. And the Republican primary voters in the state gave Trump close to 74% of the vote. Nikki Haley got about 22%. The other candidates on the ballot claimed 4.6% of the ballots counted so far. The counting will continue until the official certification of the primary election on March the 22nd.